Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Color Club Jackie O, and I'm going to do some Halloween stamping. I started off with Neltix Formula 2, and here is the eye searing Jackie O, and I've topped it off with some Posh Top Coat. Today, I'm going to be using this Beauty Big Bang 03 plate and Beauty Big Bang 04. These are some of the new Halloween stamping plates, and I'll be stamping with Funky Fingers, white and black, and I'll be using this new Conad stamper and the scraper that came with it. It's adorable. I love it. Just got it and I am so happy with it. It might bump my monocle stamper to be my favorite. We'll see. I love that it's chunky and I, ha I don't have any trouble holding it. So I'm going in and I'm stamping these swirly leafy viney looking designs that's got little pumpkins hidden in it and I'm going to stamp that in black on most of my fingers and then I'm going to stamp over it with first I'm doing the white and then I'm going to do the black and so it's going to be like double layered you can kind of see it on my other hand of what I'm going for I just I wanted something Halloween but you guys know I just haven't been using the typical Halloween colors this year so it's just the year of being different, I suppose, which is a good thing. Different doesn't, it doesn't mean bad, it just means different. So, these images are just picking up so good. I'm just so excited about these plates. I can't wait for them to come out with some more. There we go, I'm a little out of frame again. Just kind of have a problem with that. And I am cleaning that plate off with acetone and my cotton ball, which is being held by the cotton claw. Another thing I want to brag on is these funky finger polishes stamp like nobody's business. I am just, I've been watching other people use them on their channels and I've seen the magic that they do, but to experience it in real life and just to know I can walk up in a five below and come home with these polishes just makes me so happy. So now I'm going to move over to this other plate. And I'm going to use this one that's got all the little jack-o'-lantern faces all over it. And that's going to be my accent now. On my ring finger. Look at that. And now we're going to hop in with our black polishes. We're going to clean this plate off and do it with the black and I'm kind of off centering it and I do a little better on the off centering on some nails than the other but you know it's just nail art it's just you know fun and it doesn't have to be perfect I'm try oops and I already got a baby on that one oh well stamp on it anyway nobody will notice but me <laughs> see look can't even tell I messed it up <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm get move that plate out of the way and get that other one back. With the vines and the pumpkins or the jack-o'-lanterns. I always call them pumpkins and I know they're jack-o'-lanterns. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and confess. This is my new favorite stamper. I ordered mine off a of DRK and it took a little while for it to get here. Um, I didn't want to order it from China. I didn't want to wait a month or two to get it. So I ordered it off of DRK and I, you know, I guess it came okay. It wasn't like super fast, but it wasn't two months in the making. I did look at them. I think I spotted them on eBay and I just wasn't willing to pay that price. Um, I can't remember what the difference was, but I think it was enough of a difference that I ended up getting two of them off of DRK instead of just one of them. So, you know, it's it's what you feel like doing. If you feel like waiting, you can save a little money. If you feel like you have to have it right now like me, this, you know, I can tell you I'm not disappointed that I coughed up the money and did a little bit of waiting. So I kind of did it half and half. Um, love the stamper love it and the little scraper that came with it is just great too my monocle stamper is starting to show some wear it's got some scuffs on it from being laid flat on that clear backing and it's getting a little harder to see through 
this one doesn't have that and I really do approve because there's nothing for me to get scratched up sitting around sliding around on my desk so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here with some tape and these funky finger polishes even though they're regular polishes and stamp like a dream they come up really nice with the tape trick I was really happy about that because you guys know I really do like trying to get as much cleanup done as I can with the tape it just means less time and less acetone going around my cuticle area but now I am gonna go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone just clean that up just a little bit more just a tiny bit it didn't need a whole lot it's not like really bad off or anything because most of it came up with the tape there we go trying to get in all the little nooks and crannies pretty happy with it I think we're good to go now we're gonna use the salon perfect top coat and this was recommended to me by a friend and I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> I like this too. <laughs> and no, this is not sponsored by Conad with the stamper or by Salon Perfect. Um, these were all bought with my own monies. And um, I really do like the Salon Perfect top coat. I will list the name of it down below or even on the screen because it it's really comparable to Shush Beat or Posh. And it didn't smear my design see no smearing and it dried glossy and it dried quick and you can walk up in Walmart and buy it I love that love the convenient factor here's my swatch photo on my long nails and on my short nails so I hope you enjoyed this one leave me a comment let me know what you think thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself talk to you soon bye